All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the issue of IQ or Corsair software not opening. So first, you want to make sure you have this folder with this file in it. And I'll get into it and what like to do before you open it. But for those that don't have this, you want to check out the links in the description below and see if they can help you out because my way of fixing my software like my corsair software opening i needed this file so basically how to get to this is you want to type in run in the search bar bottom left right here r-u-n and then you want to type in percent app data percent and then you want to click on app data at the top right here go to local and look for temp t-e-m-p and then you want to look for install IQ. So it should be in the eyes right here. Open it and it should have install IQ.exe. Now, what I did personally was I uninstalled IQ and then I randomly found this folder and I was able to reinstall IQ through here because for some reason, whenever I tried installing IQ like a previous version of it, it said I had the latest version even though I uninstalled it already. So this definitely helped out. Um, it updated or installed the latest version as well. And it fixed it. I restarted my PC after it told me to. And it works perfectly fine now. Like it opens. But um, yeah. So for those who don't have this. Definitely check out the links in the description below. To see if those can help you out instead. But for those that do have this. I recommend uninstalling IQ first. If you don't want to uninstall IQ, then, you know, by all means, like, do you try this out? Um, let me know if it works without uninstalling it. But, um, yeah, for those who want to do it my way, just uninstall it through add or remove program. So search up Corsair here. And then, so mine, it didn't have the icon at the time when it was bugging out. And I wasn't able to click on either modify or uninstall for some reason. So if you're able to click uninstall here, just uninstall here. But if you're unable to for whatever reason, like me, you want to go to this PC, go to your main SSD or hard drive, and then go to program files and then delete the Corsair folder. If it's not there, try x86 and then look for Corsair here and then delete it. If it's not there, you might have installed in a different hard drive or SSD. So check your different hard drives or ssds and then after deleting the folder then you can install this and it should work um but yeah hopefully this helped out if it didn't definitely check out the links in the description below i think one of them is from corsair themselves the reg edit or reg edit whatever however you pronounce it it didn't work for me but it may work for you and then there's also another Corsair forum where a bunch of people suggest what worked for them. So you could try those out. And then there's also a YouTube video. Um, I, was, I wasn't able to try it out because I found this folder before trying out the YouTube video and this was what worked for me. So yeah, but definitely try them out if this did not work for you or you don't even have this um, folder with this executable file in it. But yeah, just comment down below if you need any help and I'll try my best to help out.